Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here, doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. And today we are taking a look at the Max Factory Figma Action Figure Series Persona 5, the animation noir figure. And I gotta say, I was excited to get this figure for you guys. Uh, I love the Persona 5 video game series, and I've already done a few reviews of some other characters. And I decided to get this deluxe one for the next review. And... I gotta say, I've been I've been having fun with this, posing it with the others. It's just an amazing figure all around. But taking a look at the box here, you can see on the side, you got a little picture of product shot of Noir. On the back, you got multiple product shots with some read-ups in different languages. On the top, another product shot Noir saying it's the 458th deluxe version of her. So, same on the bottom. Another product shot on the side. And that's it for the packaging, so let's get to it and crack open Noir. And here is Noir out of the packaging, and I gotta say, this is an amazing figure. I've really been loving posing this figure around, and I've been enjoying how she will ha how she handles and all the, especially all the extra accessories that comes with her in the deluxe package. It just makes it more fun to move around and get different ideas out since it is the uh, deluxe version she comes with a lot of accessories and those accessories we're going to get into right now so as you can see she comes she she currently I have her equipped with her classic phantom thief outfit being the hat and the mask and her uh, neutral expression face and she currently has the hands equipped that you use for the grenade launcher which is a special gripping hand as you can see here, you can tell it's the special one because uh, on the inside, the thumb is actually connected to the fingers. And then the trigger finger hand. But other than those two, she comes with... Woo! Just dropped it. She comes with... 11 other sets of hands. So as you can see on here, a little hand holder, you get two fisted hands, two grabby hands... Uh, two T holding hands, I want to say is what they're for, for holding her T. Uh, two open hands, and then other hands that don't fit on that. We have this hand that holds onto the brim of her hat. We have a finger pointer hand. And then we have another hat holding hand that looks like it's for when she uh, takes her bow. And other than that, we also get uh, another hair sculpt so you can have her not wearing that hat, as you can see. Kind of scary looking without the faces. But like I also said, she comes with her weapons being the grenade launcher. And this really big axe. Which she can hold, and it does separate right here, as you can see, so that you can get her hands on it. She comes with two other sets of faces other than the neutral face that she's currently wearing, which is this smiling, looking to the side face, and then this yelling face. And then other than that, that for the deluxe part, she comes with the table. That you always see in her, there we go, in her Showtime attacks. As you can see, pretty big. A chair for her to sit in. And lastly, which is the smallest, one of the smallest parts of the deluxe set, it is a little teacup. I can barely hold with the tea, and that does come out the tea, and a little plate. As you can see, it's very tiny. So those ones are the probably going to be the most oh, the hardest things to keep an eye on because you, you might lose those. So I will warn you about that. Um, I almost lost them actually a couple minutes ago before while trying to get ready for this video. So. But anyways, getting down to it, I, she's an amazing figure. Um, I'm going to probably keep saying that because I love Figmas because they just 
just have so much composability and everything. And uh, also for accessories, she comes with the stand. Almost forgot to mention that. The classic Figma baggie with a replaceable wrist peg. And then I, you have the little way you can write, I write down what game she's from and her name, so I know for what series. But getting down to it, for posability, she can look up not very far because of her hair. She look down that far. Now some side to side pivot here. Rotate 360. Arms can move up that far, down, rotate 360. A little bit of swole movement up here, top, but not much because of the shoulder poofs on her shirt. Elbow rotation, and it bends, elbow bend bends over 90 degrees. Wrist can move up and down, or if you angle it, it can move side to side. That's the same on both. Uh, she can crunch forward a little bit, crunch back pretty far. Uh, she can kick forward. Kick back not very much. Oh wait, actually, yeah, she can be kick back pretty far. Um, does a little bit of a split there. Um, thigh rotation. Knees that bend over 90 degrees. Ankles moving down and up. Ankle pivot. And that's it for her posability. So let's get to it. And do some size comparisons. And here is Noir ready to go with her grenade launcher. And for size, as you can see, because she's a female without the stand, she stands it with the hat on to the top of her the hat, about five and a half inches tall to the top of the feather. It, the feather makes it six and a half inches tall. So for your size comparisons, here he is. Here, here he is. Here she is. Next to our last figure review, we have Noir next to the Mafex John Wick Chapter 2 John Wick figure. So you can see how they scale together. Here she is next to the Joker Amiibo. So you can see how they scale together. I thought that'd be funny to have the Amiibo this time. But of course, the other one's expecting here she is next to the joker figma as you can see here here she is next to the queen figma so you can see that here she is next to the mona figure and that comes with the joker and last but not least, for basic 6 inch scale comparison, here she is next to Captain Rex from the Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series line. So you can see how they scale together. And here is Noir having a cup of tea. And I gotta say that uh, I was also wanting to say, first off, I was wrong about that one hand. It wasn't a second hat holding hand. It was a teacup holding hand or tea plate holding hand for her tea. So now I know. Now you know. But uh, I want to thank you guys again for watching my video. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I can do to help improve the videos. And let me know if there's something you guys want to see. And I'll try to get a review for you guys. And for my final reviews of Noir, I got to say. I highly recommend this figure if you're a Persona fan or a Figma collector. She is amazing. The deluxe version is, I think, the way to go because you just get a couple more accessories, but you get this. This, but it's uh, totally worth it for those accessories, especially to do poses like this nice Showtime Attack uh, finisher that she has. But uh, anyways, I want to thank you guys again for watching my channel video, and I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcats Reviews.